Hi, everyone. Thank you for, so much for the opportunity to speak today. My name is Jacinta McDonnell. I live with my son in Ward 9, Davenport, where Alejandra Bravo, Councillor Alejandra Bravo, is our elected city representative. I'm with the Plant-Based Treaty Global Team and Toronto 350, two groups that are members of the Toronto Climate Action Network. The Plant-Based Treaty is a global grassroots campaign to transition our food system from animal-based to plant-based to help mitigate a climate catastrophe. As a homeowner, I will gladly pay approximately a dollar a day more in property taxes to improve the quality of life, safety, access to transit, and fund much needed housing and shelter programs, as well as supporting our climate initiatives. According to the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration National Centers for Environmental Information, 2023 was the hottest year on record, and 2024 could even be hotter. I support an increase to greening our city by planting more trees this year rather than cutbacks. I personally felt the relief from the heat that a green space and trees provide as I walked to the Dufferin Mall on a hot summer's day last year. The temperature dropped noticeably as I walked along Croatia Street at the north end of Brockton Stadium, where there is a soccer field and a row of trees. These green spaces offer other benefits, including places for families to gather for outdoor sports, and they are good for our mental health. Food is the largest source of emissions in Toronto's community-wide consumption-based inventory. The City of Toronto can take action on food procurement to easily be closer to meeting our targets as a C40 city and the Transform TO net zero strategy. If our child care centers, long-term care homes and shelters were to adapt plant-based menus or default veg menus, there would be significant savings for the city budget. For example, the University of Guelph Early Learning Lab School is plant-based and has seen a 10% savings and an increase in meeting nutrition standards for the children. In long-term care homes, they found that plant-based staples are more cost-effective than animal-based foods. The Humane Society International Plant-Based Substitutions Guide highlights total cost savings between substitutions, like saving $1.42 per 100 grams by replacing tuna with chickpeas. The findings for child care centers and long-term care homes would also benefit city shelters. Along with the financial benefits, there are environmental gains and health benefits due to a plant-based diet. I respect all that the city has accomplished so far in setting up Transform TO and responding to the climate emergency by approving the net zero by 2040 plan in 2021. In order to meet our goals, we need a transit system that is once again admired around the world. Fully funding the Scarborough Busway needs to be a part of this year's budget. I would like to thank Budget Chair Shelley Carroll and everyone on the Budget Committee. All of your hard work, probably during the holiday season, is much appreciated. The budget consultations and town halls have been informative. Many thanks to Mayor Olivia Chow and the city councillors who hosted one. I will be watching the voting process on the city budget.